Hey guys, today I'm here on a call where I'm going to change an evaporator coil. It was leaking terribly, the Schraders were leaking, needs a contactor and capacitor. But um, the previous company that was out here tried to charge it up for him. It's a 410 system and they put something like 407C in it. So I can't pump it down. And right now I'm, I'm fixing to go see if we have any Freon left at all to recover. Here we go. I, uh, there wasn't hardly any Freon left. My air handler is over there. There is no real good way to get to it. I mean, yeah, we can walk through there, but there's no walkway. These are 24 inch centers. I have fallen all the way through somebody's house, through the ceiling, because of these 24 inch centers. Yeah, I fell through, landed on my back. Luckily, I did not hurt myself. All right, this, oh, that's the air handler that we need to replace the coil in. And as you can see, there's not really a platform just a two by four that moves around. Here's our coal. We got our drain cut loose. I've started using this right here after, I think it's a uniweld one that I've been having so much trouble with. And um, Let's start working on these. Outside, it's a dirty mess. I need to get me a, my knee pad so I don't get absolutely filthy out there. should just slide right out that right there is this right here is not under the rail so Mm. 
sure seems stuck though, don't it? That's loose. You don't want to break this break this pan because you gotta reuse it. There are, you can't see them, but that right there has little grooves in it, and um, there are little pieces, there are little pieces right here that fit in those grooves, and I think that's why it was stuck. Got this pulled out here. These are those little tabs I was talking about up top. Oh, I hope this, I hope this little screw right here comes out. How about that? Alright, I got just about everything put back together, except this, there's a little hole right here that this screw lines up with. Now we're all set. I'm gonna take this up here, set it in place, and then we're gonna go get my torches. All right, I got it set in place. That screw right there was a bugger to get in. Everything else is mostly set. I'm gonna go get my torches and oops there went my let me find that that was my filter here it is Let's, uh, I got me some of that putty on here <clears throat> to uh, help prevent scorching this panel. I'm fixing to solder those up.
do believe that that's it. Yeah, that, that three quarter looks good. And the three eighths looks good. All right, I'm gonna cut this out. The dryer I have is not as big as that one, but um, I'm gonna cut this out anyway, just to prevent any problems. All right, I got that swaged. It's hard to see, but it split just a little bit right here. This is what I've been using. Got that swage. So we got a top side well, the top side well, and then one, one on the bottom side right there. All right, I got my nitrogen started back up. And uh, I'm fixing to jump on that. fixing to I've just got a little bit of pressure on this right now we're fixing the bubble search and go fix that drain well I'm pressure testing I'm fixing to start this test let this settle out we're at 242 PSI. All right, we're going to start our test. I'm going to go get some bubble search. I had a little trouble with this right here. So I brought another one with me. There we go.
I did not bring the, my dikes with me. So I don't have a way to cut these off, but I'm not. It's a little bit of trouble getting up here. No walkway. <clears throat> and y'all see what I'm standing on. All right, we're done up here. It's time to start pulling the vacuum. All right, we got 0.7 after 13 minutes, considering the fact that I've got a compressor and accumulator in here that were holding pressure when I started, although it was just a little bit. Um, I think we're doing pretty good because there still may be some refrigerant in there. I'm fixing to release this. Perfect. That right there is just dry nitrogen that's coming out. So there's no harm in releasing that. All right, I got Schrader's removed. Everything ready to go. Got that valve off. This open, open. And I got my ballast open right now. We're down to 2,250 microns. I got to change this out and this out. This is wheat and that's a little bit burnt. So we're gonna replace them both. Okay. All right, we got these in place and I changed some things up. This, this wire right here was on the bottom, but as you can see, there's no shunt on this side. So I put it on the top and I put my hot wire over here and my common over here in case something touches well I brush this out a little bit and I uh, cleaned up my wires try to make it look nice let's see what kind of vacuum we have oh we're doing good Getting there, 591. Almost to 500. I've got, I know that it don't look like it, but this right here is a two and a half ton. Looks like we need 7.6 pounds. All right, we are at 500 microns. I'm going to it's really hard to tell if y'all can see that. I'm going to wait just a second. And then we're going to valve it off and watch it. We are at 495 microns. I do think I'm going to have a little trouble going much deeper because of the oil. The oil trap refrigerant. So I'm fixing the valve this all. Watch it real quick. And then we are going to start charging. All right, uh, I've got it valved off and it is slowly rising. Well, we just turned it on. It's like 73 degrees in there. Right, this is where I have settled out at. I know that sub cooling is a little bit high. I did not want to add any more refrigerant because I was 
I was starting to push on nine and a half pounds and this takes seven and a half or 7.6 it is kind of cool inside like 71 degrees I am not going to add any more refrigerant I'm just going to watch this for a little bit longer we are done with this one and as you might imagine that's going to be a nice little paycheck all right i let that thing run as long as i could and uh i had slightly overcharged it so i had to recover some thankfully my recovery drum just had a tiny bit in it that system is good to go if you um i just didn't wait long enough for the pressures to settle out and i was having trouble running it i had to reprogram the thermostat so i could run it to a lower temperature but we got it done well, that's a good little job i hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching i'll catch you on the next one Thank you.